speech titled Mythbusters Capsule Wardrobe Edition. Capsule Wardrobe Edition Mythbusters Melissa. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. I want to talk to you about capsule wardrobes today. But first, I want you to imagine your closet this morning. Is it calm and peaceful, inviting you to create that new look for the day? Or is it overflowing and overwhelming, leaving you feeling lost and anxious at the thought of having to struggle to create a new look for the day? Do you open up your closet and feel overwhelmed and like you have nothing to wear, even though your closet is so full, you can barely move the clothes around to see everything? I want to talk to you about capsule wardrobes, the perfect solution for that. A curated closet really allows you to use the most of your clothes. So what is a capsule wardrobe? A capsule wardrobe is when you pick a set number of items to wear for a specific set of time. For example, 38 items that you wear for three months, a full season. And this includes your pants and your shoes and your shirts. But even though this is a good solution for a cluttered closet, there are some people who choose not to try it because they believe these myths. So we're going to bust these myths so that you know that a capsule wardrobe is good for you. Myth number one is that all capsule wardrobes are monochromatic or that you only have to wear black and gray to be able to wear a capsule. This is not true. Even though most people who wear capsules might only use black and white and gray and navy blue because those colors are infinitely interchangeable, um, it doesn't mean you have to. Actually, my first exposure to a capsule wardrobe was right here back in 2013 when I needed to plan a three-week trip to visit my in-laws in Michigan from California. I wanted to make sure that my husband's clothes, my clothes, and my kids' clothes would all fit into just one checked bag. And so I knew I had to pick a very small amount of clothes to pack. And what do you see here? 13 items that can create 31 looks. And is it just black and white? No, it isn't. It's got color. And not only that, it's got patterns. And this usually makes people a little bit worried because they think if they have patterns or colors, they won't be able to mix and match to make different looks. But look, you can do it, even with color and even with patterns. Here's another example from my capsule wardrobe. So as you can see, lots of colors and lots of patterns. Myth number two is that you have to be a fashionista to be able to wear a capsule wardrobe. Maybe you've seen models posing in lots of different expensive clothing and you think that you have to be obsessed with fashion to be, a, uh, to be able to use a capsule wardrobe. And that's just not the case. Normal everyday people are using capsule wardrobes to gain some space and some calm in their closets. Here, I found some people on Instagram who are using capsule wardrobes. It doesn't matter what age you are, what body type, um, whether you like colors or not. And actually, I want to point out the person down here on the left-hand corner um, circled in the purple box. They said that if their feed on Instagram is a hodgepodge of things, it's because they're building a life, not a brand. So... She posts about food. She posts about her family. She posts about capsule wardrobes. It's just a small part of her life. So you don't need to be obsessed with fashion to have a capsule wardrobe. Myth number three is that you need to know already what style is flattering for you and what clothes you love. This was actually a difficult thing for me when I started capsule wardrobes because I didn't know why I wasn't wearing some clothes. Even though I had favorites, there was a lot of clothes I wanted to wear, but I wasn't wearing. So I want to talk to you about this shirt. I really like this shirt. I like the white ruffles, and I like the silver threads that ran up and down that made it all sparkly. But when I put it in my capsule, I realized why I wasn't wearing it. After trying to wear it for a full day several times, I found that it was really itchy. All that 
all those silver threads were actually metallic and it was itchy around my neck and it was itchy around my arms and everywhere there was seams. So I actually learned what kind of clothes I preferred and what was good for me. At the end of a capsule wardrobe, you'll know why you're not wearing that shirt, why you're not wearing those pants, why you're not wearing that dress. You'll know what itches, what pinches, and what isn't your style anymore. So you don't need to know it ahead of time. Myth number four is that you'll have nothing left to wear if you try a capsule wardrobe. So let me ask you this question and let me know in the chat. Do you wear every single item in your closet every day? Let me know in the chat. Yes? No? Do you wear every single item? How much of your clothes do you think you wear? How much of it? 10%, 20%, 50%, 80%? And how much of the clothes do you think most people wear? If you had to make a guess of how much of their closet most people are using, what do you think it would be? Let me know in the chat. Do you think most people wear 80% of their closet? Do you think they wear 50% of their closet? Let me know in the chat. I'm keeping an eye there. All right. So if we look at the data, most people in America only wear 20% of their closet, which means if you got rid of some of your clothes, maybe even 50%, you'd still have plenty of clothes in your closet because you're already wearing such a small little piece of your closet already. Myth number five is that all capsule wardrobes are expensive. Yes, there's some people who tell you that when you try a capsule wardrobe, you should only keep what you love. You love it, you keep it, you don't know, and it's a maybe, just get rid of it. Get rid of all the maybes. And that's going to leave you with a really small closet. And then they recommend that you go and buy on quality, high quality, in, um, invest in those high quality items. And that can get expensive. It can get expensive investing in high quality items. And I'm not saying you don't need to do that. But what I'm saying is you don't need to start there. Most of us have so much clothes in our closet that we should keep the yeses, but then maybe we should. We should keep the maybes too and test them out so that we really learn what we really like to wear. Not only that, that's gonna, we're gonna use it and we'll wear it out and then we can invest in those high quality items, but we don't need to start there. So like I said, capsule wardrobes don't need to be black and white. They don't need to be expensive. You don't need to know everything you love yet and they aren't gonna be restrictive. And so, Imagine that calm, peaceful closet where you have only the things that fit you and it's easy to use because it's only things that fit you. Don't you deserve that closet? Yes, yes you do. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster.